If you want to write a book, you've got to show up to your writing table. If you want to paint a masterpiece, you've got to keep on showing up. I value our creativity as a human race because it allows us to grow and become better versions of ourselves and it encapsulates what it means to be human. We are a work in progress and that is something to be proud of because we're showing up, not giving up, never give up, never surrender and more importantly, never give up on ourselves. Art, creativity and artists are seen as airy-fairy, you know, the whole concept of the starving artist. It's just not true. Our creative streaks, our creative need, because we're all born with an innate need to create, we are creative beings, and the more creative we are, the more freedom we feel. Our own beings and spirituality, self-expression and being seen, to be seen more, to show your soul and shine your light more, it creates that moment of peace, even within this whole dilemma and resistance of actually doing it. And if we think about it like that, it's a grander thing and no wonder we're scared, no wonder we need courage to do it. My main focus and intention this week is very simple. It's showing up. And if I get something done, then all the better. But I'm not criticising or judging myself if I don't. And coming from that stance has meant I finished a painting, first of all, so that painting behind me, which has been sitting waiting to be finished for quite some time. I've unraveled the reasons why I was procrastinating finishing it, if that makes sense. One of the main reasons being, it's flipping hard to paint, let alone the trickiness of finishing paintings. And I'm making a whole other video for my Patreon on that exact topic, because I think it's a really important one. But obviously, suffice to say, just finishing that painting has made me feel, you know, great. I'm feeling quite accomplished for actually finishing it. also given me the incentive to start finishing some of my other trickier to resolve paintings, the bigger ones basically. you know, without the fear. So let's talk about that for a minute, shall we? The fear. Often it's fear of, you know, a blank page. I know this page isn't actually blank. It's just the back of that one, so it's quite dirty, but yeah, you know what I mean. So addressing the blank page can be one of the easiest fears to fix, if you like. Once you've achieved 
that, the fear of the blank page or the fear of the blank canvas, I think the more challenging fear is actually the fear of finishing. You have to let me know down in the comments if you find the same. And it doesn't matter whether you're trying to finish a painting or another creative artistic endeavor. It's the same. Finishing can be quite nerve wracking. Why? Well, that's because it's the outcome of our progress and our process, if you like. So if you've really pushed yourself out of your comfort zone and you've learnt tons and tons of things from doing a painting, but the outcome is not very good and doesn't look very accomplished, it looks more amateur than how you were envisaging it and hoping it would look like, you may see it as a complete failure. But that's not true because all those lessons that you've learnt, which you can take forwards with you into future paintings, all that depth of knowledge and the extra tools in your toolbox can be utilized as well as your experience of the creative process which let's face it you can't experience it unless you're actually doing it that makes sense because creatives procrastinate a lot of the time and yes don't forget this little gem of a book sorry my uh I bet you ran out then. <laughs> if you've not read it, I that's what I was saying. I think I was talking to you a little bit longer and the bet you ran out. Anyway, yes. And in fact, I've had this next to me, but just having it there to remind me what it's all about, which is basically how we get over the procrastination and the resistance that we feel before every creative session. Obviously, the more you create and the more regularly you do it, the less you're going to feel it. But it's still going to be there in varying degrees. So this is obviously my easel, this thing here, which James built a shelf on and then I've got this lovely thing that James also built me. And the bench isn't too wide, so I can still get close in body to my paintings. I can have things upright by using, you know, just banging some nails in here. So if I hook that on here, you can see I've actually got it on the wall. But then if I want to work, maybe I want to work sitting down on these butterflies. So I could work it so it's just leaning against the wall and it does kind of stay, but I've got a nail just there. And so I'm gonna hook the top over that nail and it's gonna keep it in place. And then I've still got this fantastic angle. Now I kind of feel like I've unlocked something maybe my true potential of, of the current time. I think our potential actually changes as we go through different experiences and we have different limitations and challenges along our path, which can be windy and spirally and very up and down. My deepest belief, and if you've been around here a little while, you will know this already, always comes down to the bare bones of things, which is the basic self-care. And I know if I unravel this whole thing of showing up, and I could do a whole video about showing up. I think I kind of did about a year ago, actually, maybe a summer or two ago, because I have been on YouTube a little while now, and I'm very committed to talking to you. So thank you for keeping me company, especially if you've been here a little while. Anyway, yes, I could do a whole video on showing up. In a way, this is a video about showing up, but before I get to the showing up part, as in, hello, I've shown up, I have to have done certain things on my self-care stuff if you like before i can actually show up and they're really really basic things to get me going and get me moving and keep me moving throughout the day it always boils down to those things doesn't it and it can be really really simple things so for example for me splashing cold water on my face getting dressed getting ready in the morning and yeah i know i've got you know maybe a bit of bed hair but i'm not judging myself for that either Clothes wise, it's about me feeling really, you know, comfortable. And if I'm in my arty dungies, that means I can, you know, creatively make a mess.
I find I'm prioritising comfort over anything as I get older, as I progress through menopause and that kind of thing. All those things put together facilitate the showing up and beyond the showing up, the actually, you know, finishing a painting or doing a little something, whether it's a little doodle in your journal or a full on big painting sesh. And I realised that the big thing that I've had resistance and, and doing the procrastination, oh itchy you nose, know, sorry, and the big thing flashing up if you like for me, which has been giving me resistance, is finishing paintings because it's one of the hardest things that we can do as creatives. We're trying to resolve all those elements that we've put together in our creative frenzies, you know, when, when our muse is present and we're in the flow and it's all, you know, the dreamlike scenario of being an artist, being a painter, being a creative, but it's not all roses, as we know. There's always the positive and the more challenging elements of it. And so for me and many other creatives, because I know you're all out there, it's really, really hard to finish. And I think in a way that's one of the things that we can really measure a courageous creative, a good artist, if you like, we can measure against that quality. Can they actually resolve all the creativity and flow that they start in that being in the energy and maybe you know having divine inspiration and all the things that, that brings can they marry that together with still trying to stay in right brain very important but also can they resolve can they render things can they finish the story if you like it's about finishing the story isn't it of the painting you know i've realized a few things i mean i've been dipping back into oil paints in for the first time in about you know 20 something years and so I'm relearning oils because I've forgotten most of it. And some of it's coming back to me and I'm still veering towards certain colour palettes and things like that. Certain crossover aspects, you know, with working with other mediums as well. And so it's not all completely new. I know that. I appreciate that I've been painting in that time. Getting to know oils again has been really challenging but I'm enjoying it. So I almost feel like I'm a beginner with oils again, especially when I'm trying to paint faces. One of the hardest things to face, if you like, is faces. I suppose if I'm thinking about it in actual fact, I probably am more fearful and more apprehensive when it comes to hands. And again, I just have that mental block that many of us have. I'm getting over it. The more I practice, the more improvements I'm going to make. So there's like, there's lots of roads that run into being an accomplished creative, an accomplished artist in our own opinion. And I think our own opinion, you know, does matter of ourselves. And so if I, if I feel confident that I can draw a hand in any position, in any media, then that's going to bring me confidence to move me on to, you know, other things outside my comfort zone. So we're always expanding and it's like, we, we expand and we contract and we stay in that place for a little while and then if we keep going we can you know keep expanding in different directions because it's not just about a linear way I think there's breadth and spirals and yeah different ways that our brains learn and improve and by finishing a painting it doesn't have to be your most accomplished masterpiece it's just finished and then you move on to the next one does that make sense? No matter what it is we're trying to move forwards with, it's all about showing up. Everything is about showing up. If you want to write a book, you've got to show up to your writing table. If you want to paint a masterpiece, you've got to keep on showing up to your easel, to your painting, and actually sit, mix the colours and put the paint to the canvas, if that makes sense, with less of that thinking time, with less of that procrastination. The other thing I've learned over the years of being a creative is that if you allow that thinking brain, that part of your brain that's going to facilitate a procrastination, if you like, so it's the part of the brain that's going to say, oh, you know, you could do this instead of finishing that painting. Once you've squeezed your paints out onto the palette, that means you have to do it. So let's not do that bit either. Let's do something else that is maybe you know, quite an important task that you might think is overriding the painting, but it depends how much we value our creativity, doesn't it? And I value our creativity as a human race beyond many, many things because it allows us to grow and become better versions of ourselves. We're upping our game all the time and it encapsulates what it means to be human, I think. 
we are a work in progress and that is something to be proud of because we're showing up not giving up never give up never surrender and more importantly never give up on ourselves that really matters doesn't it and the words in this painting are your words your thoughts matter it's how we think and how we speak to ourselves which helps us think and speak about our outside environments it all starts here the closest grassroots level we can possibly have here and it's not about comparing ourselves to others in that vast world of the internet it's about self-improvement comparing who we were yesterday with who we are today we need commitment we need dedication we need discipline and devotion to what it is that we want because without that we've got the risk haven't we of losing ourselves in that whole realm of procrastination and that can be yeah the game changer anyway deep thoughts for this morning So what do we do when we've finally finished a painting then? We carry on, we continue to push, push, push against this resistance. And it seems to me as well, it's not just a, a resistance from within, it's, all, it's almost like there's a resistance from out there as well. Art, creativity and artists are seen as airy-fairy and, you know, the whole concept of the starving artist. It's just not true. Our creative streaks, our creative need, because we're all born with an innate need to create Create. we are creative beings and the more creative we are the more freedom we feel in our own beings and spirituality and expression and self-expression and being seen and I know we have a whole world of Wi-Fi internet and social media out there right now but if we come back to basics to be seen more to show your soul and shine your light more than putting your work out there so whether that be a canvas or a painting on a wall. There's no other way really to be more vulnerable, more naked, if you like, by putting your creativity out there. And I suppose that for me, that's making a painting and then putting it out there. So I guess out here to you. And the whole concept of YouTube, I still find a little bit weird, a little bit kind of strange to get my head around, but that's just the way of the world right now, isn't it? That could describe the whole way of the world, the way of life and how quickly things are shifting and changing. And perhaps our creativity will lead us down the right path instead of going down the left path if that makes sense. So left brain, logical, practical, and instead going into right brain, intuition, inner knowledge, inner wisdom, coming from the inside rather than being influenced by all this busy and crazy and bonkers stuff that's going on out there. It creates that moment of peace for us, even within this whole dilemma and resistance of actually doing it. And if we think about it like that, it's a grander thing and no wonder we're scared, no wonder we need courage to do it. And so if truth be known, I didn't feel like coming in this morning. I felt like staying at home and hiding away, plonked my dungies back on and I've shown up again. And I think that's the key, isn't it? It's how resilient we can be and how repetitive we can be at showing up, showing up, showing up. For me, I'd like to push my painting skills. I'd like to become more accomplished and there's always room for new learning. And so that will never leave me as I go through my journey. And some of these paintings have been waiting a long time to be finished. And in fact, I wasn't even going to finish that one because it had an accident. I'll explain that another time, maybe. Let's just say it had an accident and then someone lied to me about it and so there was a little bit of damage and also a little bit of bad feeling around it so i'm going to overcome all that and yeah finish up and i can already see improvements that you know i can make now that i didn't know then anyway i could talk about this much longer and i'm going to leave it there for now because i want to start painting and so i love you all to bits thanks so much for keeping me company and watching the video it really helps me a lot and try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you really soon in the next one. Bye for now. It's like I'm trying to explain to you. Helicopter, sorry. So I'm just gonna ground, I'm grounding that before I start. All these little things to help myself, if that makes sense. And I feel like I need every single one, every single thing that I can possibly do to help me in the right direction. I need at the moment, if that makes sense. I've got my grounding mat, which 
is earth. I don't believe it's as good as, you know, actually having your bare feet on the earth. I think it's a very good second best and the changes in my energy levels have been the most obvious change. In the right position of where I want to sit and talk to you. Maybe I'm a bit low. I feel a bit low. My chair goes anyway. Anyway, and not sure what kind of um, mess we've got going on behind us, but uh, we never bothered before, so why should we bother now?